remember what the haters talking about. What's up, family? On Sunday, a deadbeat rent on tenant shoved his queen's landlord down their building's front stairs so hard that the man bumped his head on the concrete and died. And you guessed it, fam. It was all captured on camera. Landlord Edgar Munkeo, 71, was trying to collect rent around 3 p.m. at his 102nd Street building in Corona when 22-year-old tenant Alice Garcia allegedly pushed him down the stairs, cops said. The man was pronounced dead on Monday after being on life support. Check this out, fam. Initially, Alex, the tenant, told authorities that it was all an accident caused when he was trying to move his mattress out of the apartment and the mattress struck the door, causing Edgar to fall down the stairs to his death. But the family checked the ring camera that they had attached to the door and it told an entirely different story. <laughs> it showed that old dude actually pushed the old man down the stairs. Here's the deal, fam. The old man was wrong off the rip. He should have never went over there trying to get physical with dude. Uh, you got to think anytime you engage in conflict, what is the worst thing that could happen? That's the way I ride. What's the worst thing that could happen if I do this? And you got to brace yourself for that. You got to be prepared for that so that you come out on top every time. I don't think the old man gave it that much thought. So dude had owed rent from the previous month. That's what he was trying to collect. Now, what's crazy is that the amount that's being reported is 200 bucks. I guess that was the leftover amount that he owed because you know rent in New York is very high no matter where you live. But the man essentially lost his life over 200 bucks. Dude who caused him to die, who, who pushed him, I think it's going to be a pretty quick trial. If he takes it to trial, it's going to be a very quick trial. He's been charged with manslaughter. So if he knows what's good for him, he probably should plead because there's no way possible he's going to get around that. And people don't like people that try to get over anyway. So uh, he's going to have trouble trying to fight that. Yeah, he should have just let that ride. The trial ain't going to last long at all. I'm sure, I'm sure that the tenant told the landlord that he didn't have the money. So my thing is like, what, what's the landlord really going to do? He's just going to go in there and bogart his way into the man house and, uh, you know, dig into the drawers and find the money. You know, start snatching his uh, property and, and taking him to the pawn shop. What was he going to do? That's crazy. Everybody ain't built to be a landlord. I'm one of those people who ain't built for that. I used to have properties that I used to rent and I got out of the whole renting business. I got out of the rental business because I couldn't take it. People playing games with me, sending me checks unsigned. You know, I got my guy over there trying to collect the rent. They peeping out the, the peephole. Won't open the door. Talking about they on their way back and they'll meet them at this time. They never show up and all this stuff. I was like, man, look. So I sold my properties. I was like, I got to get out of this game because you can't play with my money like that. Like, and because I ain't waiting on 
no damn 30 days or 60 days to get my money. Like, you ain't just finna be laying up in my crib for free. And I'm waiting on court orders and all. Nah, man, I can't do that. I couldn't do it. That was one instance that I had to send. Yeah, I'm good. I'm checking out that statute of limitations. I'm good on that. But yeah, I had to send them boys over there to, you know, remove some people. And like, hey, y'all got to tomorrow. Y'all got 24 hours uh, to get your stuff and get up out of here. I don't care where you go, but you're not laying up in here for free. Because I got to pay taxes on this property and, and I got to pay maintenance and all this type of stuff. And, you know, I'm, I'm a good landlord. So if anytime they had an issue with, you know, something breaking down, whatever, I send my guy through there, it's fixed the next day. I mean, like that, we get it done. And so I expect the same amount of respect and consideration. And everybody ain't built like that. Some people really just are professional squatters, you know? They basically just, you know, get in in your spot and then just lay up with no intention at all of paying the rent. So, yeah, I couldn't do it. So I'm one of those people who are not built to be a landlord. I say... You can take it to court or take, it, take the law into your own hands. Either way, you better be prepared for the consequences. You know, I was one of those ones. I took the law into my own hands. And, you know, things could have came out a whole lot differently. I mean, you know, anytime you take the law into your, old hand, your own hands, that's a gamble. It's a big gamble. But, you know... I just couldn't do it. I could not allow somebody to just be laying up in my property for free like that. When I got to pay, you got to pay. So I'm not built to be a landlord. Fam, I brought you this video just in case you're a renter or you're a landlord and just to give you, use this video as a cautionary tale. If you are a landlord and you got a dispute with your tenant, let it play out in court, you know, or to try to get them out of there. And then, you know, if you got to try to sue them or whatever, you know, for, for back pay, whatever, you know, do whatever you got to do for back rent, do whatever you got to do. But don't, don't put your life in jeopardy. Don't do that. And don't put anybody else's life in jeopardy because you don't know what somebody else is going to do. You know what you're going to do, but you don't know what the next person is going to do. Like that landlord knew what he was going to do. He knew he was going to go over there and confront dude. And he knew that he was going to try to force his way into the house. But he didn't know that dude was going to push him down those stairs and that he was going to crack his skull and die. That he didn't prepare for. So you have to think, if I do this, what is the worst case scenario? And that's anything in life. Anytime you're thinking about conflict, always think, if I do this, what is the worst thing that could happen? You know, protect yourself at all times. The irony here is that the deadbeat tenant will now be living rent-free in prison on your dime. No more talk. What the talking about? Yeah.